Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So I just want to share with you guys some shop progress and some shop updates that I've been doing here recently um, at Christ Center Ironworks. Um, first off, thank you to all of my channel members who make a lot of shop upgrades possible. I greatly appreciate that. And all of the Super Chat supporters on our weekly live streams. Um, a lot of that, a lot of you guys kicking out that extra extra bit and extra dough out of your guys' pockets really help out with doing some things. So um, channel memberships are awesome. We have quite a few people who've joined. I need to get my burning kit in. I'll be waiting. I'm still waiting on that to get in. So this way I can start wood burning names into my membership wall that goes beyond Jessica there. So if you're interested in getting in on that deal, you click that join thing right by the icon of this pretty face. Well, the thinner pretty face that's down below. Um, anyways, so what have I done recently? Um, as many of you know, I've moved up to Michigan. I moved up to Michigan late last, well, middle last year, and it's been a long journey to get to what you see now, um, this current stage that the shop is in. For those of you that have been watching along on the process, it, you can you know it's been a long journey. I'll eventually make a playlist where I put all of these little updates on the shop progression in there. But the most recent shop progression that we've done so far is I finally got the rest of the shop graveled. So if you look, I've got it graveled all the way to the outside. I still need to put in a lane all the way up to the shop, but that'll probably happen long after I fix the siding <laughs> in the barn here. But yeah, so I've got everything kind of out of the way. I've got a, you know, forging press right there. And um, I ended up moving, I ended up moving a ton of steel. And I don't mean just a ton either. I mean probably four or five tons of steel. That's what I have in just scrap steel that I have developed over the years. Um, it doesn't look like it, but there's some pretty heavy thick pieces. Let me get that back there. You guys can see some of that there. Um, so I needed to move the steel rack so this way I could get the trailer into the shop. That's, that's huge. I need to be able to get my trailer into the shop so I can offload things. And also so I can put stuff, you know, put stuff on the trailer to haul it away. One of the other huge upgrades this year, hopefully you guys can see this real cool, is I got in a CNC plasma cutter. Now that's been a long process. I've been working on that thing for about seven months. Um, with including wait time. I had to build the air compressor um, to be able to run it um, and waiting on tools to get in and I had to do all the plumbing and things like that in order for me to power it up and cut my first parts, uh, which has been doing pretty awesome. It's been going pretty well. Now I've also had some questions at this point of what I think about the Langmuir systems and the Crossfire Pro and stuff like that. And I will do an official review video or Somebody said, man, this guy's a narcissist. He's talking about his official review video like his opinion matters. And, and I could agree. That does sound kind of bad. <laughs> My official review. Roy's official review. You can trust this guy. Bam. Um, <laughs> sorry, being a goof. Anyways, I will do a review video of what I think um, and share a lot more in detail thoughts. Um, good overall good experience, long time to build, and there was some needless complexity that the company could have took care of at the very start, just in their manufacturing thing that would make it a heck of a lot easier um, on somebody who's just a homeowner or whatever to build this thing. Um, there's some pre-welding and fabricating they could have done and yeah, make the whole process a lot quicker. Um, but other than that, great machine. There's like, a thousand nuts and bolts with this deal with this kit because you receive it in a kit and like five different packages um, and every nut and bolt was there so hats off to them that is really hard to do logistically make sure all your logistics are taken care of there anyways i'll get into more of that in my official review video official <laughs> all right other things other news jessica got a kiln brand new kiln into the shop. Um, she's been saving up with all of her money from um, selling some different enameling jewelry and stuff. That's kind of her hobby, so it's a self-funding hobby. And uh, she's been doing really well at that. That's, that's really panned out well for her. 
And let's see here. Yeah, that's when, well, love the kiln. It's a Paragon kiln, it's a small kiln, but it works like a champ. And really, what more can you ask for than a tool to work properly? Can't ask for much better than that. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't really wanna say a whole bunch of hums, things of that nature. I've been working real hard all this fall to get a lot of projects done around the house that I'm not gonna be able to do when there's four feet of snow up here. And I've been cutting a lot of wood in National Forest on the weekends and, and been working at plasma cutting things in the evenings <laughs> and at night. And then, uh, you know, doing all my regular forge work and keeping up on all that, like I've said in many of videos about being the rising tide. So, so yeah, we're real busy here, uh, but things are good. Things are looking up. And I really can't thank you all enough. Thank you all for subscribing and you know, turning on the bells for notifications and doing all that good stuff. Um, it really does help the channel to grow. It helps me to grow. And um, you know, it actually really helps out a lot of beginning blacksmiths because it funds me to be able to do things for other people, like our giveaways on our live streams and things like that. And for those of you who don't know, on Friday nights, one Friday night a month, we've been giving away some uh, 66 pound uh, Chayo anvils you can buy on Amazon or eBay. Um, and those have worked out. That's been phenomenal. That's been phenomenal. This month, as of the recording of this video, that will be number 10. 10 anvils. Can you believe that? In the year of the anvil? 10 anvils already. And we got two more to go. So if you haven't been part of live streams, hit the bell for notifications, sign up, you know, subscribe, that whole thing. Show up at the live streams. They're from 5 to 7 p.m. We have a good time. We give away a lot of blacksmithing tools and uh, stuff like that. So that's it for today. God bless each and every last one of you. Thank you for watching. And uh, thank you to all you great channel members out there. We'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.